Ukraine will strengthen the positions of its armed forces in Russia's Kursk region and expand the controlled territory in the region, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Saturday. Zelensky made the statement in a post on Telegram app, while commenting on the remarks by Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky. Thanks to all the soldiers and commanders who take Russian military prisoners and thereby bring closer the liberation of our soldiers and civilians held by Russia, Zelensky stated. Furthermore, Zelensky said that there are dozens of Russian army attacks on Ukrainian positions in Turetskoy and Pokrovskoy directions, stressing that our soldiers and units are doing everything to destroy the occupier and repel these assaults. The situation is under control, the Ukrainian leader said. Moreover, Zelensky said Kiev was working on new support packages from its partners. We determine priorities. The main thing is the limitation of Russian offensive potential, the Ukrainian leader said. Ukraine launched unprecedented cross-border incursion into Russia's Kursk region last week in what became the largest ground attack on Russian territory since the start of the war in February 2022. Ukrainian National Guard Reserve Major Oleksiy Hetman believes that the operation in the Kursk region will encourage partners to lift the ban on Ukraine's long-range weapons strikes on military targets in Russia. He shared this opinion on Espresso TV. Hetman also discussed the achievements already made thanks to the operation in the Kursk region. One of the objectives of this operation is to force Russia to use either poorly prepared troops or those who are not fully equipped. Russia is withdrawing troops not only from the front lines, but also from reserves within the country. Reports suggest that troops originally intended for the Pokrovsk direction, where intense fighting is happening, might instead be redirected to the Kursk direction. Additionally, troops are being pulled from the Kharkiv region and Crimea, loaded onto transport platforms and redeployed. This shift already shows the impact of our operation. We also expected Russia to launch offensives in the Sumy region, similar to their previous attempts to attack Kharkiv and come within range of artillery, but their plans failed, Hetman explained. He believes that this operation by the Ukrainian armed forces will be a compelling argument for Western partners to lift the restrictions on long-range weapons for Ukraine. I am confident that our operation in the Kursk region will serve as a strong argument for our partners to lift the restrictions on long-range weapons. To the average German or American, it might seem unusual that we are conducting offensive actions on Russian territory, yet we are unable to use American or German missiles against military targets due to somebody's fears of escalation. Those who say that will look ridiculous. I believe neither Chancellor Scholz nor President Biden wants to appear ridiculous. So I am hopeful that this will lead to a resolution regarding the Taurus missiles, he said. Hetman also noted that this operation is shifting how our partners view Ukraine. Our partners' attitude toward Ukraine changes when we are not just holding the line but actively winning and pressuring the enemy. This shift in perception increases their willingness to support us. I believe this will result in more military aid. People are realizing that Russia is not as formidable as they thought and that Putin is weak. This realization could lead to tougher sanctions and a shift in how political leaders in Europe, America and globally view the Russian Federation, Major Oleksiy Hetman said.